Okay. I'm going to take two on this. Um, you may think this is a good looking bike, but, and I've done a few videos on it, but um, guess what? It's going to a salvage yard. And it's wore out. It's broken. It can't be. It can be fixed for a lot of money, but I ain't gonna dump and waste my stupid time on junk. Crap. Idiot engineering. I've worked at four dealerships, got a mechanic degree, industrial electrical maintenance degree, welding fabrication degree, lots of schooling. So people don't try to tell me that this isn't junk. Don't tell me that this that this company makes incredible products because they make junk. BMW buy motorcycle wrecker because if you're going to own one of these motorcycles you're going to need a, a wrecker a buy a motorcycle wrecker to be able to to haul it around because it's going to break down a hell of a lot on you. I got a list and I'm going to tell you all the crap especially about this one and there's a good 25 plus year history of the same stupid dumb idiotic crap that BMW did and they just keep doing it over and over and over okay the motor if you get anywhere near red line you will snap the, the valve heads off the stems and destroy this motor that's how they are the throttle bodies are cable um, to synchronize them, they're, they're cable controlled, the, the cable synchronization, which means as soon as you turn that throttle right there, the, synchronize, the synchronization's off. So you really have no way to synchronize these things properly. And on both heads, another, another subject, uh, these have overhead cams that operate the the cams over the valves and they use a thing similar to a uh, similar to a lifter but they were so dumb that they didn't put a check valve in that lifter system and so you know a lifter pumps up with oil these lifters that they use to put t uh, tension on the cam chain loses tension once once you kill the motor and this one, especially this motor, you start it up, you know, from sitting a day or two, and the cam chain will start slapping the cylinder and the block and sound like a rod is knocking. Uh, and I've heard of guys breaking the blocks because of that. You know, really, really dumb, dumb, dumb engineering. You know, they could have put a check valve inside that little lifter thing there oh no but that's just that's too much work too much work okay let's go on to the second subject which is things these things called shocks you see them up there BMW engineered them to go 30,000 miles and that was it that's it done like I said this box at 35 so they're wiggly wompily they can be rebuilt but why didn't they just make it where they could live just a little damn longer? The life of the bike. Pretty stupid in my opinion. Fuel tank. Um, the fuel tank up here, uh, right up in this area behind this panel, has a, a recessed area where the fuel pump goes into. And it's, it's similar in design to a uh, Ford Mustang and but that's where all the differences stop and because BMW has to be different which means they have to be difficult and make things where they don't last they put a, a variable resistor system in there to make the motor speed up or slow down most fuel injection systems they run a constant speed and they have a, a bypass so whatever fuel they don't use from the injector they send it back to the fuel tank simple easy uh, cost-effective system but not BMW 
they use that variable reactor that variable resistor system and that's not the real problem the problem is where it's mounted right here it's recessed you take splash you get you splash from that front wheel or you get rain falls down in there on it and it and it and it's like in a, it's like being in a cup and that water fills up and it crosses across them them um, connectors and it burns it up and anywhere you're at you know if that electric motor isn't pumping fuel this motor's not going to run so you lose all power there's guys that have gone out of the way to <clears throat> fix that and make it run just a constant speed you know but still that's having to fix their engineering stupidity another thing about this this is the same year that uh, McGregor and that other guy was doing that around the world trip and after owning this damn thing there ain't no damn way in hell that them two guys made that trip without having I'd say 150 motorcycles of the same you know painted the same and looked the same you know because there's no way that that will withstand that kind of abuse this bike you know just driving on the street every day will can't withstand 35,000 miles how the hell is it going to do off-road and go around the world it's not there's no way possible for this thing to do that there's no way possible for it it was it's engineered that bad that bad okay fuel tanks done and let me show you something about this factory design windshield that's my next on my list look at this crap right here see how it skews I'd be going down the road and I'd see them you know you see yellow lines and then on the on this little bull crap right here it'd make it kind of come and, and do like that uh, that's stupid and also this lip up here distorts all your view that's stupid stupid engineering stupid dumb crap okay let's get on to my swing arm <clears throat> this is their biggest engineering jackass dumbass thing that they've done now you see that there's one hole way up here and this is how you get the oil out of the rear end well gee you say there should be one right here a hole down here yeah that's right but these dummies no we don't do that zig how we don't do that <clears throat> they filled from the factory they filled these up too high and it would foam up and you know foam expands push a seal out and blow the all the oil out and ruin that bearing and blow this rear end up a lot of that's really dumb previous design of this was a better design but no they had to make this and worse in fact all this on the inside here has been uh, replaced due to a recall because it would crack and break and uh, these don't seal up so you got to get inside there and lube all them splines and everything because they couldn't make that properly super heavy maintenance crap right there really hard really really hard um, I didn't go over the transmission on this there was about a 20 25 year run that they did this one stupid problem here's the starter you can take it off pull the starter out and look inside there and see the flywheel and the clutch and all that other crap and it has a similar clutch to like say a pickup like my Toyota pickup which means it has a threaded rod that goes into a clutch the problem is they didn't keep they didn't make the threaded rod long enough they had six millimeters of gap right there and through time and 
use and abuse. That would end up twisting them threads, distorting them threads. A lot of guys would have to try to find somebody. You can't find nobody to work on a BMW transmission. Everybody out there is afraid of them. Right? Well, the reason is, you know, you fix it, have a problem, hey, you're going to get sued. You know, and so <clears throat> you'll see guys out there looking for transmissions all the time, putting ads out there, wanted transmission. Junk. The transmissions are junk. They put tiny little bearings, little tiny bearings on the input shaft. They're bad about um, blowing up and dropping all the ball bearings into the transmission. And what, what does that do when you get that in between the gears? Locks it up. Dumb. Dumb. Really dumb. These, uh, these back brakes, you will not get 6,000 miles out of a set of pads. And the effectiveness of them, I mean, that's not a real good brake. It's not a real effective brake. I mean, you literally have to stand on it to get that to brake. Um, two other things to talk about my bitch and griping on, on this before I'm done with this. But this is going to a salvage yard. I give you guys the chance to, you want to buy it? I had it advertised. Everybody, everybody's scared to death of it. And I don't blame you. And so, she's going to a scrapyard um, I don't wish any of these motorcycles on anybody anybody in the damn world anybody's got any sense don't get one of these damn things now there's a couple other things that go with this that really piss me off about you know I'm a technical guy I can figure crap out I can I can take stuff apart I can fix things um, to get a mechanic to take the back half off to get to the transmission is 17 hours of uh, shop time. You know, you're looking, they told me between $1,600 to $2,000 just to take that part off, to get that back side off to see, you know, what, what it is that's going on in there. And I'm like, holy crap. 35,000 miles and this thing is done. It's gone. It's useless. It's no good. And that's the crap that they make. Buy a motorcycle wrecker if you own one of these. I don't care if it's new or old or whatever. Making a big mistake. And here's the two other things that really pissed me off about being a part of owning one of these things is number one the owners most of the owners that I know of or or tried to get to know of these things have no mechanical abilities and so they can't give you good advice on that on a lot of stuff um, and that's sad because I do a lot of forum work or used to and would teach people how to fix things you can't find nobody to teach you anything on these things. I mean, <clears throat> there's forums, and the forums, you know, are horrible. You'll go there and how do you put a key into the gas cap and turn it? You know, how do you put how do you put gas into this thing? You'll see you'll see stuff like that, you know. And I'm I'm more technical. I like to what would not want to know of. How do you balance the throttle bodies, you know, and other stuff like that. It doesn't matter about balancing the throttle bodies now because they're a cable actuated system and they fall out of, once you twist that throttle, boom, they're out of sync and you can't fix it. It's a dumb design. So, oh, their guards are literally paper thin. They're easy to mess up. I it took me a while to figure this out, but this one had been 
laid down you can see and it's against the head I had to take that loose to be able to get change spark plugs in it spark plugs yeah they're different and they have they're super expensive you know all parts are expensive there's very few dealers in America um, well in fact my neighboring state Arkansas has zero dealerships and I hear that BMW is trying to get rid of their motorcycle dealerships and combine them with car dealerships I, I don't care I'm never gonna own a BMW again I will cuss them till the day I die because they have done nothing but give me you know pain in the ass and that's all they're gonna do to anybody else that's that gets onto one of these things you know I've been around the block quite a few times guys like I said in my previous um, post you know I know some things about fixing crap and all the majority of guys that own these things don't know nothing about how to turn a wrench I mean like these wind blockers 99 percent of the guys that would own a BMW would have to take it to a shop because they don't know how to turn a Phillips head screwdriver in to put them in place and that's just how that's just them you know I wasted a lot of money and I wasted a lot of time I could be riding but no I got a piece of junk that can get me nowhere and uh, I put it on this trailer I'm gonna be taking it to uh, it's gonna be gone you guys don't scream and holler at me I know what the hell I'm talking about I gave you guys a chance to buy it if you wanted to nobody wanted to so somebody else is gonna get a problem or a curse as I call them so guys take heed don't ever buy if it has BMW on it don't buy it you know it'd be a better thing to do shoot yourself in the foot that'd be a better thing to do you know that sounds silly but really it is okay I'm through with my ranting don't buy a BMW especially a BMW motorcycle and uh, we'll see you on my next video